Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mendoza. Earlier today, I posted a video on how to plot a coordinate into your uh, SkyVector. SkyVector is a very important program that we use to determine um, if we belong in a, you know, uh, part of Dallas or if there's something going on in, in, a, in, a, in part of Dallas. So let me show you how it is to plot your uh, coordinates real easy. So let me show you. So I'm going to go to Google Maps. So here's the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm going to pick just any area. So I'm just going to enlarge and reduce, and I'm going to right-click here. Where I had my, my little mouse, it gave me a coordinate, right? If I click on that, it copies it to the clipboard. Now, I created an Excel file here. Let me open that guy up. And uh, so this thing is going to do a lot for me. So watch this. I'm going to paste what I just copied into a clipboard. And I'm going to hit Control V. Now, you know, the 32 and the 96 are your degrees. 32 latitude, 96 longitude. And this 0.08 and that all those characters is the minutes past the 32. And these are the minutes past the 96. Okay, so I got a little button here. So watch what this little button is going to do. Is gonna turn this 32 into a solid number here. This point 0876 and so and so is gonna convert it into minutes. So if you multiply 0.807 times 60, you know because that's 60 uh, minutes in the in the grid. Uh, is going to convert it for us. Same thing here. So watch this. Bam. One button. It converted that long number into 32 degree longitude point uh, 48 minutes. And then on the longitude, it gave me 96.51. So with that, now I have another document that I created. Because remember, Sky Vector is very cumbersome, especially, especially in the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. So let's go to Sky Vector. Uh, actually, let, let's go to my document. Okay, so if I look at this document and open up my uh, Excel, and normally this would be real easy for me because I have a 27-inch monitor on my right and I got another 27 inch monitor on my left and a 24 inch monitor uh, on top of my laptop. So, so watch this. Remember, latitude, we're looking for 32 degrees and 48 minutes, 0.46. So now watch, here's 32. Here, let me enlarge this area. Uh, like I said, this, on my monitor, this is real huge. So we got 3248. So from here to here is 3230. Okay. So between here and here is my 3248. Now I have to look at my land lat latitude. I got 9651. So look, there's 96, 9630. So it's right in this area. So it doesn't matter which one of this. Uh, boxes I click is going to enlarge that area with a lot of things I've added to this uh, PDF. So let me show you. So just for this area, you see, look, you see, you see what it looks like here. If I click here, it's going to enlarge it. And uh, so I can go in here. here let, let me let me move this little uh, thing out of the way. Here, I'm going to enlarge this stuff, excuse me, uh, and, okay, so, <clears throat> let's go with the latitude first, so, we got 3248, 
Okay, so I'm going to grab this guy. We got from here at the bottom is 32, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and then almost in the middle is 0.46. Now on the lot land longitude, I'm going to go to here, here where it starts 96 and 30 minutes, but we need to go to 9651. So 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, one and three quarters is about right there. So that is where that coordinate Coordinate, uh, coordinate this. You see, look, there's an airport right there. And this tells me that uh, this area here, you see right here, it starts at 2,000 2, feet. Okay, so now, so now that we have that, so I'm going to move this over. Let me see if I can, uh, what it looked like if I get my uh, sky vector and see how close I can get. So remember, look, this is where my red lines are, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get this enlarged right here on, on my uh, sky vector. And that's as, you see, that's as far as I can enlarge it. But you can see there's that airport there, right? And so you see, if you look at this square, it's, it's right there is where we're looking for. So now, and we missed all this stuff that's going on here. So we're good, but, but we do have to get uh, clearance because look, if you notice right here, this area, it starts at C F S F C. So you don't you don't have any clearance. You would have to call and uh, get clearance. So what you would do is you would go to um, visual it, and then you would put the address right here. I'm just gonna put you know fifteen thirteen uh, long. Star port. Now I, I'm, I'm going to check something out. I'm going to see if I could actually put that coordinates in there and see if it'll take me there. It did. Okay, you see, I just copy and paste that coordinate. So, so I I would have to get coordinates and then so the highest I can go in this area is look. There's my dot. It's 400 feet. Which that's all we can do with a drone anyway, but um, but I would have to get permission to uh, fly that area. Well, thanks for watching my video. If you have questions, uh, don't hesitate to call me. I got a, another video that has my information. It'll be just like this one. Thank you. Bye.